Hi guys, welcome to the short video about how to proceed to the next frame or previous frame in the VLC video player. So that's free player, a lot of people are using that, but sometimes it's a little bit difficult to find specific features and yeah, it took me some time to find the shortcut or the function how to get to the next frame. And yeah, I'm also going to show you in this video why I'm using this function, but let's start how to find this function. I mean, we have actually two possibilities. We can add it to the menu. Here, there's actually the menu here at the bottom and we can right click on that, go to view and uh, add the advanced controls. It makes the screen a little bit smaller, but then we have uh, some additional functions to make a photo or video or the loop or uh, frame by frame advanced. So here we have it, that's frame by frame. As you can see, there's nothing in between, Re really frame by frame. Yeah, when we want to look for the shortcut, then we have to go to tools. By the way, we can do this, this right click here or we can go to the top. That's the same thing. And then we go to preferences and we go to hotkeys and we have it already here, not far from the top. That's next frame and that's the E. Whenever you hit the E, that means next frame. And as you can see here, there is nothing around for previous frame. That's just next frame, no previous frame. And that also means there is no function. There is no function here. There's no uh, shortcut. There's nothing you can do to go to the previous frame, unfortunately. But uh, you can go back 10 seconds. I mean, sometimes it can mean a lot, but maybe it will help. I mean, here you can make smaller steps, of course, with seconds or in half seconds or whatsoever. But if you want to do that, that's just the arrow to the left. That, that's 10 seconds back and the arrow to the right is 10 seconds to uh, like advance. As you can see, here we have 10 seconds steps. Uh, yeah, we advance in uh, 10 second steps and we are going back in 10 second steps. So yeah, that's it actually. And the question is, why am I using that? That's a footage from the GoPro 7 Black Hero or Hero 7 Black whatsoever. And that's a typical footage which I am using and that's a time warp. So the time warp with the GoPro has been introduced with the 7 Black Hero. It hasn't been existing before and it was a huge improvement when it comes to time lapse. I mean, basically it means it's a stabilized time lapse. It's a different thing than everything before. I mean, you have with the GoPro 6, with the GoPro Hero 6 Black, you have a time lapse and you could even stabilize that with uh, some kind of external program, but it's not anywhere close to the time warp which you have in the GoPro hero 7 black i'm going to play you that so here i'm just playing i mean that was a little bit shaky because i was talking and looking back but usually it's looking like this and this is uh, 15 times we have also two times four times eight times i uh, think 15 times 30 times something like that and usually it's really super stabilized we have 1080p and we have it in 4k this is 4k and yeah i really like it because there's so much footage or so much space and battery to save and i still have the whole trip everything and that's so good and it's easier to upload to google photos and everything and the really good thing is that the the clarity and the sharpness and everything of these single pictures are absolutely same as you would record uh, with 4K and 60 frames. Of course, it has less frames, but it has the same clarity as you can see. I go a little bit closer here. You can see we can read everything here. When we go to, yeah, that was a little bit too much. Now I step forward with single frames, as you can see. Yeah, also, let's go to this 
uh yeah see here on this uh, sign here on the right side this is so clear of course we can see it's a little bit bent as a barrel distortion but still we can see everything super super clear even here on this sign here this post or this uh, whatsoever uh, everything is so clear we can even detect faces and everything every uh, part of the asphalt and uh, grass and leaves and whatsoever we could even make a picture or yeah uh, take a picture here and save this as a memory this is absolutely phenomenal of course you're missing out on a couple of frames i mean it is when we go here that's the original file the original footage from the gopro and we can see it. there's nothing much, uh, not more to come here but we can see that was a half of an hour footage and it's only 1.02 gigabytes it has yeah it's 4k i mean almost 4000 to 2000 and it has 30 frames we cannot adjust the frames so it's just 30 frames per second means it's two frames per second in real life so again when we go here step by step frame by frame that means 0 0.5 seconds for every frame and the other bad thing with the vlc is of course when we hit the right or left key that means not that doesn't mean a 10 seconds step that means actually a two and a half minute step if you're using 30 times then it would even mean five minutes step so uh, quite a lot but uh, still uh, that's a good thing and uh, definitely i can highly recommend them by the way the gopro hero 7 black at the moment is very cheap yeah here we have it it has come down to 279.94 and it's a huge value because the hero 8 came out but it's really really just minor improvement and so these hero 7 black i think it's the best value i mean uh, as long as you want all the nice super stabilization and then time warp features and they'll put down the link to this listing down into the description so you can check it out or it right from here if you like it yeah and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or better solutions or whatsoever and yeah by the way especially if you have a free video player where you have frame by frame not only forward but also back it would be really interested please put everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time